Patterns with fractions. We have a sequence of mixed numbers. How can we find the rule for it? Let's take a look at a sequence of whole numbers. We can see that the sequence is increasing because the numbers get larger. To find the rule, let's look at a pair of consecutive terms. For example, two and five. To find the rule, we can subtract two from five to get three. So the rule is to add three for each term. Now let's take a look at another sequence. Unlike the previous sequence, this sequence is decreasing. The numbers get smaller. To find the rule, we take a look at two consecutive numbers. We subtract the smaller number from the larger number, and we see that the rule is to subtract two. Now let's take a look at the sequence of mixed numbers. We see that the sequence is increasing because the numbers get larger. Now let's try to find the rule. We take two consecutive numbers, four and one half and three and two thirds. Let's try to subtract them. As you can see, we can't subtract because the denominators are not the same. We need to find the least common denominator. The least common multiple between three, two, and six is six. So the common denominator is gonna be six. For the first mixed number, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2. For the second mixed number, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by 3. For 5 and 1 third, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2. We leave 6 and 1 sixth the same because the denominator is already 6. Now we can rewrite the mixed numbers with the equivalent fractions. Now, instead of subtracting 3 and 2 thirds, from 4 and 1 half, we subtract 3 and 4 sixths from 4 and 3 sixths. But we run into a small problem. We can't subtract 4 sixths from 3 sixths. So we have to regroup. Instead of 4, we can write 3 plus 1. And instead of 1, we can write 6 over 6. So now our mixed number 4 and 3 over 6 turned into 3 and 9 over 6. Now we can subtract 3 and 9 over 6 minus 3 and 4 over 6 equals 5 over 6. So the rule is to add 5 over 6. Let's do another example. As you can see, this sequence is decreasing. The numbers get smaller. To find the rule, we need to take two consecutive terms. We subtract the smaller term from the larger term, and we get the rule. Let's take 7 and 1 fourth minus 6 and 7 eighths. To subtract, we're going to need a common denominator. We have the denominators 4, 8, and 2. The least common denominator between those numbers is 8. We multiply the denominator and the numerator of the first fraction by 2. We leave the second term the same because the denominator is already 8. For the third term, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by 4. We leave 6 and 1 eighth the same because the denominator is already 8. For the fifth term, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2. We actually didn't need to rewrite every single mixed number to have the denominator of 8. We did that just for educational purposes. We really only needed to do that for two consecutive terms that we're gonna subtract. So now we have a new sequence where all of the denominators are eight. Now we can rewrite the original equation to seven and two eighths minus six and seven eighths. We can't subtract seven eighths from two eighths, so we have to regroup. We rewrite seven as six plus one, and we rewrite one as eight over eight. We can rewrite 7 and 2 eighths to 6 and 10 eighths. Now we can subtract. We subtract and we get 3 eighths. So the rule is to subtract 3 eighths. Let's do a different example. This time we have an unknown term. To find the unknown term, we need to find the rule for the sequence. 
we can see that the sequence is increasing. To find the rule, we're going to use the third and fourth terms. We subtract the smaller number from the larger number to find the rule. The least common denominator between 4 and 12 is 12. We multiply the denominator and the numerator of 3 and 1 fourth by 3. Now we have 3 and 3 twelfths minus 3 and 1 twelfth. We get 2 twelfths. We can simplify to get 1 over 6. This means that the rule is to add 1 sixth. To find the unknown term, we add 1 sixth to the previous term. So we have 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 sixth. To add, we need to find the common denominator, which is 12. We multiply the denominator and the numerator of 2 and 3 fourths by 3. We multiply the denominator and the numerator of 1 sixth by 2. We get 2 and 9 over 12 plus 2 over 12. So the final answer is 2 and 11 over 12. This is our unknown term. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.